thank you everyone for taking the time out to spend this evening with us. We welcome you all to YTC. Good evening. Um, we are hitting the 100 attendees already. We just did. For those of you who have friends who intended also to attend this webinar, um, we are live on YTC's Facebook, your tutorial center. Um, so they could they could watch live from there. Um, we are we also are doing that live so that um, to give chance for the others who will not make it to the 100 participants for for tonight in this Zoom webinar. So, magandang gabi po, and um, we are all in this together, um, considering that um, for a lot of our students or children, um, there has been a lot of screen time activities for the past six months into the quarantine due to the stay at homes to stay safe and from getting infected from the virus. We are a bit overwhelmed um, by this attendance. Um, so it, it only goes to show how important um, this issue is for all of us. Um, this is our second um, webinar in the series um, to gear parents for the distance learning or online education that we are faced with um, in the midst of this pandemic. So um, it has been observed well, and also expected considering we need to stay at home, but um, learning must continue. And even our work in source of livelihood must continue. Um, there has, we have been spending a lot of time um, in our, on, in front of our computer screens, the, whether it is the phone, it's the tablet or it, the laptop or the PC. So um, because of this, uh, we, we found this uh, topic for the webinar very timely. As well as at the end of the one hour, we are hoping that um, we'd be able to share with you through the kindness of our guest doctors tonight. Um, on how we could better take care of our eyes and protect our children um, from uh, getting um, illnesses caused by too much screen time. So um, from the newsroom of Auburn, Auburn University News, um, we as adults should um, approach online learning by gauging the res reasonable work time work time, meaning uh, for our, for an individual child. So for any elementary age child, sitting for long periods of time in front of a screen will be a challenge. Um, this has been uh, posted two months into the quarantine. And last week, uh, there has been a lot of reactions okay, um, about this post of DOH no? uh, that, that was posted in ABS-CBN's Facebook. Um, seven to eight hours online class daw every day para po matapos yung school year. No? Kasi nagsimula tayo ng late, na move siya ng, from August 24 to October 5 or 4. And because of that, um, gusto sana ng DepEd na mas mahaba yung oras para we can finish um, or by, by March, I think. No? But then, um, nagkaroon naman po ng paglilinaw. There has been clarifications about the seven to eight hours. And um, I think um, it's just a plan, but it's not really something that they would um, uh, observe no, or follow. Anyway, dahil po, kahit na po sa ganun, ano, may kita po natin sa reactions ng, ng mga tao in this post alone for 52,000, considering the number of attendees that we have in this webinar tonight. Um, the seriousness of this situation. Okay, So this is the new normal and this is what we're going to expect for learning continuity, more, longer time on screen. Sa atin din po adults na nagtatrabaho, yun din po yung hindi maiiwasan. No? So with the 52,000 reactions po dito sa ganitong um, plan, no? 
Okay? 9.2, 9,200 po yung comments and 23,000 shares. So kung titignan po natin, this is, this is how serious it is. So um, we have, so we welcome you to this webinar. Okay. Um, uh, we'd like to greet you all a good evening uh, for taking the time out on a Friday. Okay. And we'd like to welcome you to YTC. YTC, your tutorial center, is the sponsor of this webinar. This is the second in the series. Tatlo po ito. Last August 22, we had the webinar about Filipino. Uh, this is the one on screen radiation. And then two weeks from now, we will also be having uh, the webinar about how to develop um, children to love science. Mm -hmm. So I uh, would like to focus now on the objectives of this webinar. Um, after giving you the context of the importance of such, of this one. No? So we'd like you to become more aware of facts about screen radiation, okay? And its effects on our children's eyes, okay? Uh, we'd also hopefully, through the sharing of uh, our doctors tonight, we'd like you to know and understand the practices brought about by online learning that may cause eye illnesses, not only online learning, but also online working from home that we spend also most of the time on screen. But uh, the focus also would be our students who are not really, uh, who are supposed to be doing the online learning as well. And hopefully uh, to adapt ways that could protect the eyes so that um, we could protect our eyes and prevent eye-related illnesses. So the rest of the information and concerns, hopefully, um, will be discussed, okay, um, due to the kindness and courtesy of two of our doctors. Okay? So um, they are friends, okay? Um, they are both practicing in St. Luke's Medical Center. Um, however, um, because of the focus on um, kids, uh, how to protect our kids from this, um, from this, uh, the eyes of our kids, sorry, rather, from, from too much exposure and due to uh, exposure on the screen, um, um, we have invited two doctors. Uh, and one of them is focused on pedia ophthalmologist. Um, she is Dr. Dulce Peralta. Um, she practices um, in St. Luke's Medical Center. And she is joined by another ophthalmologist uh, focusing on retina and vitreous to address questions if should you have about adults' screen radiation exposure as well. But since um, we are going to um, focus more on kids, but the two of them would answer our questions and concerns about protecting our eyes and how to be able to go through practices that would lead to um, better practices and habits as we go through this new um, we, we are blessed to have two doctors, which normally uh, I, I ask, I ask one and I got two. And I am so blessed to be able to them. So I will not, um, can we ask everyone before I, before I call them, uh, before I call them uh, for you to see both of them, um, to please mute your microphone. Okay. Um, also, if you could also um, turn off your camera for the time being. Um, so that we have, uh, we ensure better and stronger connection because for the past two to three hours, we have been a bit nervous about the strength of the internet and our connectivity. So to be able to maximize the time that we will be spending with our two doctors, um, perhaps um, kindly put your, your microphone to mute and um, your cameras to uh, into up also the cameras so we do not have issues with the with internet so i will not um lengthen this anymore 
I am happy to be with Dr. Dulce Peralta and Dr. Christine Corpus Velasquez, both ophthalmologists with different specialization, to be able to share with us um, the truth about skin radiation and how we can protect your kids and us adults as well. So good evening, doctors. Uh, good evening, po. So I'll just share my slides. Hi, Doctora. Good evening. Hello, good evening, po. <laughs> okay, sorry, I turned off my camera, po, ano, kasi uh, unstable din po yung connection namin here in QC. So, as uh, Miss Christine already said, uh, I'll be sharing with you the truth about spin radiation and how we can protect our kids and uh, us adults as well, no? how we can protect our eyes. So actually, I gave this um, lecture uh, during our um, distance learning uh, in, con uh, in connection with the uh, uh, Philippine Academy of Ophthalmology and our uh, society, the Philippine Society of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus. So the, 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 the lecture tonight will be um, focusing on blue light and eye strain during the time of online learning. So the global pandemic caused most schools all over the world to close. You know? so, uh, as a result, education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise of electronic learning, whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. And as our students adapt to online education or as uh, adults working from home during this pandemic, uh, parents are worried of the effects of online learning to their children particularly the prolonged screen time and the effects of blue light from their electronic devices. So let's review lang po, now what is blue light and how does it affect the eye? So blue light can be found in uh, both the natural source, the sun, and artificial sources, which includes electronic devices, the LED screens of our laptops, cell phones, no, and LED lights. So it has a significant impact on both the visual and the non-visual functions of the body. So let us review where does blue light come from. So major review lang po of our science. No? So electronic, uh, electromagnetic radiation is transmitted in waves or particles at different wavelengths and frequencies. And the broad range of wavelength is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. So it is a stream of massless particles co called photons, which travels in a wave-like pattern at the speed of light. So each photon contains a certain amount of energy. So this is important po kasi. So the different types of radiation are defined by the, by the amount of um, energy found in the photons. So since it's a spectrum, usually po there is a, it could be um, long, yung radio waves po have a longer wavelength lower frequency and lower um, energy and on the other side of the spectrum naman po the gamma rays have a shorter wavelength higher frequency and higher energy so what we see is the uh, visible light spectrum po no, which is uh, what is important with us so blue light and uva are mentioned to be as near uv or HEV or high energy visible light. And this, according to some studies, can cause photochemical damage. So a review lang po of our, the parts of our eye. 
So the front part of the eye is the cornea. Uh, in front, uh, at the back of the cornea is the iris, no, the brown part of our eye. This is the uh, crystalline lens. And at the back of the eye is the retina. So we are blessed with um, natural defenses against uh, UV radiation. So when light enters the eye, the cornea blocks the UV radiation. And those who can pass through the cornea is absorbed by the iris. And those that can still penetrate po the, the natural lens uh, goes into the retina and the macular pigments po absorb the, those energies. No? So what are the benefits of sunlight? So there, there are, uh, these are a few to mention po, no? When light enters our eyes, uh, it also engages a non-visual system that affects the timing of our sleep-wake cycles and our cognitive performance. So one of which is vitamin D production. So unlike other essential vitamins po, which can be obtained from food, vitamin D can, uh, is synthesized in the skin through a photosynthetic reaction triggered by uh, exposure to UV radiation. So it helps in our calcium metabolism, neuromuscular and immune system functioning. And another benefit of sunlight po is it helps regulate melatonin and serotonin. So we all know that melatonin is the pace setter of many of our body circadian uh, rhythms, particularly our wake sleep pattern. And moderately high serotonin levels po results in positive mood and it makes us more calm and more, more focused. No? It, is, uh, it also increases uh, our, our endorphin blood levels. So yun po, no? endorphins are our body's natural opiates and this makes us happy. So blue light boosts attention, makes us awake, improves our reaction time, and improves our mood. It's, it makes us happy and productive. So a study, uh, a study done in the U.S. Po, uh, showed that over uh, a one-year period, kids who were exposed to more sunlight during their school day displayed 26% higher reading outcomes and 20% higher math outcomes compared to kids in less sunny classrooms. So there is really uh, uh, an increase in our children's uh, academic performance. Pero how about our um, setup right now? No? Our kids are indoors. So there is another uh, paper po which states that even if uh, the classroom has less natural light, it has shown that replacing uh, your artificial light with blue enriched bulbs can still improve our students' cognitive performance. So there is still, um, iba pa rin po if we ask our kids no, to go outside and play, do physical activity, Pero if ever man po that they will be staying more time indoors, uh, blue light uh, can still be, ano po, no? can still help. So should we really be worried about blue light po? So as we've mentioned earlier, blue light reaches the retina. So how does it affect the retina? So actually po, uh, ano lang po to, um, studies done parang pro, uh, pro uh, blue light uh, against blue light. So actually po, it, it just shows you that there are, uh, it's still unknown po, no? you, it, they, we, we receive um, results regarding blue light. So some, some 
Um, say po kasi blue light is bad to the eyes, no? Um, say it's it's good. So, yun nga po, uh, conflicting yung, yung results ng mga studies. So, do we really, does um, blue light blocking lenses help? Kasi it's all the rage right now, no? I, I receive, um, I receive these from parents na asking if parents mag online magko online classes na po yung an mga anak nila do they need to give blue light blocking lenses to their kids so uh, unfortunately since there hasn't been a lot of research on with blue light blocking lenses po, and and research at this time is contradicting to what is known to be true about blue light. So, medyo mahirap po sabihin, ah, okay yan, blue light. Blue light blocking lenses, no? So, we don't know if there's any potential harm pa wearing the blue light blocking lenses. Since we mentioned nga po, there, is, um, there are benefits on, on non-visual uh, functioning of our body. Okay, so ultimately, uh, instead, instead po of spending money on blue light blocking glasses, uh, take any marketing for blue light blocking glasses po with a grain of salt. And it's better po to uh, talk it over with your ophthalmologist. So what now? Ano po bang ating gagawin? So because of the trend nga po, no, na medyo confused po ang ating parents no, regarding online, online um, classes, the blue light, the effects of blue light. That's why uh, the Philippine Society of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus has published its guidelines regarding blue light and eye strain po. So there are myths and there are truths truths po. So let's go through the different issues. Okay, so so myth uh, so myth number one blue light from screens will harm the eyes, no? There, so there's a study po reprinted from, uh, reprinted by the National Library of Medicine and it has found that there is no measurable UVA or UVB radiation from computer monitors and that the radiation protection program uh, at MIT summarizes current research computer monitor suggestion by saying that there are no data to suggest a health risk from exposure to electromagnetic field associated with the use of monitors. So myth, blue light from screens will harm the eyes. Ang truth po, the amount of blue light from screens is not significant to cause eye disease. So another myth, blue light causes digital, causes digital eye strain. So people, adult and even children, experience uh, eye strain po in different ways. No? So while using our devices uh, may not, will not uh, damage our eyes permanently, staring at them for a long period of time can cause temporary discomfort. So, what are the symptoms? So, pwede po yung dry eyes, could be blurred, tearing or watery eyes, or even headache. So, the reason we get digital eye strain is that we blink less when we stare at our devices. So, again, the myth, blue light causes digital eye strain. Truth, digital eye strain is caused by how we use our devices and not particularly blue light. So how can we prevent digital eye strain? 
so we can take frequent breaks and follow the 20-20-20 rule. So every 20 minutes po when you're using your um, gadgets or any digital devices, every 20 minutes, take a break, look at a distant target about 20 feet away for 20 seconds lang po. So the following methods can help a person to put this rule into practice. No? So you can set an alarm for every 20 minutes while working as a reminder for you to take a break. Or you can download an app developed to help people follow the 20-20-20 rule. Tapos with children naman po who are taking online classes, uh, our teachers or the parents can ask them to sing a song or play games for 20 seconds. This will help relax the focusing muscles of the eye and avoid digital eye strain. So you can also use artificial tear supplements when you feel that the, your eyes are dry. No? So preservative-free eye drops are the best since yun nga po, persons, uh, a person blinks less than usual when using digital screens. So that can cause the eye to dry out. And also, when we observe the proper um, body mechanics, no? keep your distance from the monitors, observe the correct sitting posture. Kasi nga po, when you assume an incorrect posture, this will lead to fatigue, discomfort, and even pain that may later um, develop into uh, strain, repetitive strain, and chronic musculoskeletal disorder. So by having a proper ergonomic setup, no, kita naman po natin yung sa picture, uh, efficiency and productivity can be improved. It can also reduce unnecessary stress and the risk of having headache, eye strain, back pain, or neck pain. So additional adjustments that you can do to your computer settings, you can modify your font uh, for us adults, no? twice as large to reduce eye strain. Adjust the screen's contrast so you can read the text with ease. Kasi usually po, I, we observe no, in kids, masyadong dark yung screen nila. So they can uh, adjust the, the, the monitor to reduce eye strain. Adjust also uh, the room lights no, para to reduce glare. So the society also uh, released guidelines for the recommended screen time for children. So as you can see, children one year old and below should not spend time on digital devices po, no? kasi sometimes uh, ginagamit po yung iPad parang, parang hindi lang umiyak yung bata, no? hindi magulo, ganyan. So it's not ano po, no? recommended. Children two years old should, could, can watch quality programs with adult supervision for not more than one hour. For children three to four years old, it is recommended to spend less than one hour per day with adult supervision, pero interactive play for physical and mental development is advised. And then for children po five years and above, guided screen time with frequent breaks is advocated. So as mentioned po by Ms. Christine, no, uh, yung nilabas po ng DepEd, actually this was posted po yesterday lang. So DepEd suggested screen time in children. So they, um, the, the number of hours that students can spend online is based on the guidelines recommended by the uh, American Academy of Pediatrics and the WHO. So pag kindergarten daw po, kindergarten uh, pupils, maximum of one hour screen time. Uh, pupils grade one to five, uh, maximum of 1.5 hours. 
uh, grade 6 to grade 8, maximum of 2 hours. And uh, students grade 9 to 12 po, maximum of 4 hours. So actually po, um, ang important po dito is not the number of hours, no, nung screen time. Uh, Siyempre, depende po on the age, no? But what is important po is that you practice nga po the 20-20-20 rule. It's important that uh, our children have a break every 20 minutes po para makarest lang yung eyes nila. So another myth po, anti-blue light glasses improves sleep. So studies have shown that blue... Uh, wavelengths can disrupt the body's natural circadian rhythm by suppressing the melatonin production levels. And uh, however, a growing body of research is challenging the notion that blue light is bad. So there was a study po conducted uh, by um, uh, in, in University of Manchester so, dati po kasi sinasabi nila, it, it's the blue light that uh, makes you less sleepy at night. Pero sa study po nila, it, yung results nila po concluded that um, it's more of the yellow light daw. So, again, conflicting po yung results. So, the truth po here is that sleep can be improved by decreasing screen time at night without the need for special glasses. So how can you improve your sleep? So it is recommended po that you relax your, your eyes before bedtime by turning off your devices one to two hours before going to sleep and decrease screen time at night. So by practicing, po, uh, by practicing this, sleep can improve without the need po for special glasses. Right. So anti-blue light glasses improve eye health. So again po, uh, wala pong basis yung claim pong ito, anti-blue light glasses have not been proven to influence eye health. And it is best pa rin po that you have your eyes checked by your ophthalmologist. So the experts recommend limit the amount of screen time, decrease screen time at night, take frequent breaks from screens, decrease brightness of your screens, and increase again physical activity since parati pong nasa indoors yung ating mga bata, nakaupo lang. So, uh, we need to encourage them to go outside and do physical activity. So, thank you po for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Uh, we will give them time to uh, regroup muna to rest a bit. Um, because she has been uh, talking for about for more than 20 minutes. Hindi lang screen time rest, uh, voice then. <laughs> uh, we also have here with us, uh, Doctora, we will, you can get back to us, Doctora Dulce, after you have drank water and rest your voice a bit. Thank you, Pa. Um, Dr. Christine. I feel strange calling my name. You might want to add something for Mamayana after the commercial. <laughs> Siguro after na lang po. Okay, sige. Let's just wait for Dr. Dr. Dulce then. Okay, um, once again, um, I hope marami tayong nakuha. No? I, I already have some questions um, dito sa chat, no? but um, siguro... Bago natin, uh, habang hinihintay natin yung iba sa audience na uh, to come up with their questions. Pwede pong magtanong, huwag kayong magilala. Pwede pong pambata yung tanong ninyo, pwede rin pong pang adults. Um, both of them, uh, both of our doctors are, um, linya po nila yung, yung bata. 
uh, at saka po yung adults, no? um, yung concern sa eyes. So uh, for those who are also into working from home and th there's longer screen time, you can also ask um, these our, our doctors right now to be able to help you out, enlighten you in that issue. So um, kung kasama po natin sila, ito po yung time na bibigyan natin sila ng water, papaupo yung sandali, tapos uh, magpapahinga kasi tuloy-tuloy na nagsasalita. So pagka ganun po, dapat may commercial. Okay, so siguro um, magka-commercial muna habang naghihintay po kami ng, habang nag Ayos kayo ng questions niyo, no? Um, pwede pong magtanong. It's actually one of the best ways for us to um, make the most out of the this evening, no? Um, at the same time po, um, allow me to, habang po nagko-commercial, um, allow me to um, introduce YTC um, who is sponsoring the, who is sponsoring the webinar tonight, no? Um... I'm Christine. I'm Christine Santos. I am the head of YTC Your Tutorial Center. Um, we are the ones who thought about this seminar because um, starting the lockdown on in March, sometime in March, like March 13 or 15, uh, we have prepared for YTC um, e-learning and provided or has been providing um, online tutorials to support the learning continuity you know and because of this um, we are ourselves as teachers as tutors um, teaching the students online observe that we spend a lot of time on screen preparing researching also uh, with the students that we have um, well uh, while we were still new into the e-learning because a lot of uh, parents were also quite shocked that um, learning would already be continued from home and uh, immediately there's distance learning. And for those in private schools uh, who have already started, um, there's been a lot of discussion about online learning. And um, there are parents, reactions from parents, no? Um, bakit two hours lang or hindi ba pwedeng three hours mag-aaral online, magpapachutor online, ano? Uh, bakit daw hindi pwedeng dalawang oras straight at sunod-sunod na magre-review ng math at reading yung bata online. So, um, very enlightening po yung screen time, the hours na, length of screen time na na-share ni Dr. Peralta in her slides, no? Na kailangan talaga, hindi lang din yung bata but as adults, no? So, um, as I have said, uh, we have been providing e-learning uh, ever since the lockdown started, no? So, um, we are YTC or Tutorial Center, and um, we provide online academic tutorial. Okay, so we have the preferred for those who want to just uh, focus on one subject. Okay, um, maybe math, maybe reading, maybe Filipino. If you're also concerned about the length of time, screen time that your children, uh, additional screen time because of the tutorial. Uh, you probably would just have to, and you'd like to focus on one academic subject, then you can just get the preferred tutorial. For those who would like to follow up for all the six subjects, academic subjects, um, we have the premium for six academic subjects for grades one to six. However, um, guilty, eh, no? Nagsabi na agad, no? Um, 30 minutes po yung session, no? Uh, pero hindi po namin as much as possible, we do not maximize the 30 minutes because we provide the 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes lang para in between periods, yung mga bata may time then to drink a glass of water or maybe get away from the screen for about five minutes. No? Um, this is the parents' choice for us because for 20, almost 20 years, we're celebrating 20 years this year, but due to the pandemic, um, we're spending our 20th year online, providing online tutorials. Um, we have had face-to-face, center-based tutorials, and um, this is the parents' choice because um, we have programs for monthly unlimited tutorials for all academic subjects for grade school students. Um, 
due to the differences in learning capabilities and learning styles, we are also offering exclusive one-on-one -on -one tutorials for those um, who would like to have undivided attention for one academic subject with a true tutorial. So we also have the exclusive one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. So um, kindly visit our website because we have the free initial needs assessment. Um, you can you can get the link in Google. So if you'd like your children to be assessed in reading and math, there's a diagnostic test that is given by answering the Google Sheets. So otherwise, should you need to speak with someone, um, one of our staff who attended, uh, she also she's also here uh, in this webinar. Um, I think she also has the same picture. Okay, she, you, you may talk to Oli. We, we will listen to your needs no, and recommend um, which program would best suit your child's needs in, uh, as, as well as your whole household and your family. Um, after this, kung hindi pa po kayo member, um, Dr. Christine Corpus Velasquez has had a lot of, uh, quite a number of posts that I have shared in Parents for Learning PH. No? Um, whenever I see posts, uh, her post, no, Dr. Christine Corpus Velasquez, who's also one of our ophthalmologist resource persons today, um, I have shared several of her posts about taking care of the eyes and um, safety measures um, in order to protect uh, our children. No? So um, I also would like to enjoin you to join our to parents, no, to join Parents for Learning PH in Facebook. Um, please do agree. Uh, click agree to the terms or accept the terms and conditions um, so that we can let you we can accept you as member. Please join by answering the de details and um, press agree. We not only post um, information like this no um skin radiation how to protect your kids hygiene we also post information about schooling uh we also post information about math science reading and a lot more information to um, support the parents uh especially uh the transition for the new normal in this new schooling um okay so um Please go also our FB page, YTC or Tutorial Center. Should you have any questions about the programs that would be suitable to your child's needs, then please visit our website, our, our FB page. Um, we do not only cater um, to private schools or online who are, who are already enrolled in, public, in private schools. Uh, we also cater to the needs of those who are into homeschooling, as well as those who opted to go through gap year. Okay. So um, as I have mentioned earlier, this is the second in a series of webinars to gear parents for learning for this new schooling. The first one was Filipino, um, the truth about skin radiation and how to protect your kids. The one that we're having at the moment is the second in the series. Two weeks from now, uh, we will also be having Another webinar, also for free. Uh, we are we have parents who are teachers, who are science teachers as guests. Um, we have a we will talk about how to develop your kids to love science because um, since learning continuity is done at home, there's a lot of uh, there's no, not much time to be in the lab or experiments, or maybe you need um, references or resources to enrich your science, the science lessons of your children. Um, you'd also benefit a lot from this webinar. Um, I suggest um, you also sign up for this one uh, on September 19. One parent uh, is a science teacher and she's practicing and she's teaching in Washington, D.C. This is also Filipino. Another one is also a science teacher, which is also a parent. Okay, so um, should you still have any questions or details about YTC, um, you can just um, 
message us separately after this or go to our website. Um, I'm sure um, you're already um, eager to go through the question and answer portion. Okay, so um, we will ask our uh, uh, good doctors if they're already here. Uh, and I will look into the questions in the chat. So, Dr. Dulce and Dr. Christine, if you're already all right. Yeah. Um, yes, Miss Ray Info. Hi, I will read through okay. the questions. Tapos, um, kung ano po yung masasabi niyo, one by one na lang. So, yung mga Sige iba po. po na hindi pa, may mga tanong pa, no? you, can, you can just use the chat. Okay, so, um, there's one question from Miss Irish May Claire Solar. Is anti-radiation eyeglasses, I think nasagot na to, uh, lessen, does it lessen exposure to radiation? And how effective yeah, actually, glasses are uh, anti-blue rays? Uh, uh, we've discussed that during the lecture. Uh, mm -hmm. I've mentioned po that radiation coming from screens, no, from, uh, screens from LED screens from digital devices, uh, very minimal po ang radiation nito. So you don't really need to wear any um, anti-radiation glasses, uh, blue light blocking glasses, hindi po kailangan. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So um, if, if you really need to wear then po, yung normal spectacles lang po is enough. Uh, Probably, if you have refractive errors po, kailangan talaga magsalamin, no? Pero mm -hmm. yung mga wala naman grado, gusto lang magsalamin kasi mm -hmm. natatakot sila na may, uh, to, just to protect the eyes, natatakot sila sa radiation coming from the screens, hindi po kailangan. Okay. Miss Christina. Thank you, Doc. Yes. ko lang po. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, una po, thank you po for inviting me and uh, Dulce for today. I'm sorry po, I'm keeping my video off because my baby decided to be fussy right now. So just to add po dun sa sinabi ni Dr. Dulce, so for the parents, uh, I know you, you always see this um, pop-up um, advertisements over Facebook and Instagram about about uh, commercially available no. Uh, blue light uh, anti blue light uh, glasses no so there's there's really no evidence po na they are helpful so lalo na po ngayon na um, there's financial crisis no better to use na lang other other tips to protect our eyes rather than to spend on eyeglasses that have not yet been proven to be really effective to protect um our eyes no adults eyes and our kids eyes as well so uh, agree with dr dulce 100 percent on this Wag po tayo magpadala sa mga sa mga ads po no or yung mga nakikita po natin sa sa social media or sa mga sa mga Shopee, sa Lazada ganun po. So doktora, kung walang kung hindi kailangan magsalamin, hindi naman kailangan na yun, ano? Yes, opo. Kung kung sakali po na kunyari, may gray po talaga ang mata, no? may error of refraction yung binanggit po ni Dr. Dulce. Um pwede po tayo magpalagay. It's like an add-on sa mga optical shop pero yung sasadyain po, nabibiling po natin, hindi po kailangan. Hindi rin po kawalan kung yung ginagamit niyo pong salamin right now ay wala naman ganitong feature. So, hindi siya, hindi po siya make or break. Kung sakali po na nakabili na po kayo, no, meron na po kayong existing blue light, um, uh, anti-blue light filter eyeglasses, hindi rin naman po siya masama. So, it's not proven to be harmful but it's also not proven to be 100% effective. Okay? Uh, Alright. Okay. Um, next question po. Um, wow. Thank you, doctors, for the insights and clarification. Glass, God bless you po, both of you. Um, question po. Galing po kay Ms. Marisol Gukor. Um, and then, yung question po from Ms. Queen, uh, Christina Diaz. Is there any differences in the screen time exposure between using laptop with or without blue light shield? Uh, same din po. Uh, you, you really don't need to wear uh, uh, 
blue light blocking glasses or yung iba po kasi they put a uh, uh, parang filter on their monitor uh, it's mm -hmm. really not needed po kasi nga po as mentioned by Dr. Christine uh, there is no evidence po uh, to claim that uh, it can affect uh, harmfully affect your eyes no so yun po hindi po kailangan Okay, so I think that the other question from Irish May is the same. Yung anti-irrigation eyeglasses helps to lessen exposure. Or nasagot na din po yun. Um, from from Miss Lian, um, my children are always using cell phones and therefore very much exposed to screen so much so that it worries me. What can I do to lessen this exposure without them throwing a fit if cell phones are taken away from them when watching YouTube? Oops. Medyo mahirap po sa lugutin, no? Especially if, yun nga po, the kids are um, fond of the devices. Kung baga, very early na exposed uh -huh. na sila doon, na introduced sila uh -huh. doon. Um, we're recommending po actually na Yun nga po, don't introduce uh, these devices to children, very young children. Kasi there are studies po no, that have shown na may effect siya with children. May psychological effect siya in kids. Uh, uh -huh. they, they feel de deprived. Pag, yun nga po, pag tinanggal mo sa kanya yung, yung cellphone, yung iPad, mm -hmm. yung tablet, pag tinanggal mo sa kanya, they feel de deprived. Uh, may... In studies po kasi yung, yung earlier studies, sabi mas matalino daw yung batang exposed sa uh, very early on no sa gadgets ganyan. Pero actually po yung mga researches right now, yung studies right now, sinasabi po nila mas matalino pa din po yung mga batang who read books, who draws no, who colors. Mas maganda yung hand-eye coordination po nung batang yun kaysa yung natuto lang sila swipe lang ng swipe press ta, diba? press lang ng press sa, sa screen so yun po may effect talaga sa bata ayan nako parents yes. loud and clear i also agree with dr dulce so um uh, syempre we're, we're ophthalmologists no we're not um we're not um uh, psychologists and psychiatrists. So there are articles already that have been published na meron daw increased risk for ADHD with prolonged um, uh, screen time use kasi it teaches, um, it teaches uh, satisfying the yung wants ng kids immediately. So so actually, um, although medyo mahirap yun, lalo na kung sa kung, kung nasimulan na, no? na madala sa screen. No? Uh, I have a baby myself, so I'm also guilty na minsan I'm tempted to just you know, put the baby in front of the, of the, of the tablet or the TV. I, I, feel, I, I feel all moms. No? Yung nga lang, uh, maganda yung pinos niyo, ma'am, dun sa Facebook page niyo about uh, role modeling for, for the kids. So, so siguro tama that the role modeling should start from the parents. No? Uh, oh. We are guilty. Uh, tayo po lahat, ang, ang stress reliever po natin ay Netflix, social media sa gabi. Yung nga lang po siya, tayo po ang napapanood ng mga bata. So maybe that would be one tip, one practical tip, na if we could start, tayo po muna, no, cutting down on screen time ourselves, protecting our eyes, then maybe we can translate this to our kids better. So das, das, siguro itaitrate na lang po konti-konti. Huwag naman po mag-cold turkey agad kasi kawawa naman yung mga kids until masani po sila sa bagong way of life, bagong new normal kumbaga. Opo. That's right, that's right. Oh. Yan ha, narinig nyo, narinig nyo po para po ma-validate at saka yung mga mapag-isipan. So another re reflection din ano, um, from Ms. Tess Yu. No? Thank you for this opportunity to clarify the myths on blue light. I was about to purchase glasses for my kids for anti-radiation. Though they have no problems with their eyes, I have trained them not to strain their eyes too much by using their gadgets. Thanks for the valuable insight, Dr. Peralta and uh, Dr. Christine Velasquez. Okay, what would be the best advice to give to parents who's been using their tablet with anti-radiation screen? To silence their four months old baby by playing Coco Melon. Ouch, hindi ko to alam. Sorry, hindi ako makarelate. Um, I don't want to offend din kasi yung friend ko by telling them to stop doing it. 
they play it kasi in front of the baby. I'm not saying that they are doing a bad parenting, but I'm just concerned. <laughs> Actually, ano rin po eh, I've just uh, been exposed to Coco Melon, no? It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, hindi ako makarelate. Kasi yung kids ko din po are very big, Nick, so hindi ko din siya kilala before. So, <laughs> ano ba yun? <laughs> okay, sige po, doktora, uh, go. <laughs> so... Actually po same same as yung ano uh, same as what we we've, we've mentioned kanina po no so it's not uh let's not use po um the uh, the <clears throat> sorry the digital devices are as uh, nannies no para hindi, mm. hindi as babysitters para may parang kumbaga para may entertain yung bata hindi siya malikot hindi siya umiyak ihaharap po natin sa sa div, ano sa mga laptops or sa tablet nga po Um, mm-hmm. Although yun nga po, uh, yung recommend it's a recommendation pa rin naman po o yung no yung what we've mentioned kanina regarding screen time. Pero syempre, mm-hmm. it's still it still depends on the parents, no? Uh, it, we are here lang po to advise, pero syempre, um, iba-iba po ang parent parenting natin. So, pero yun nga po, um, it's If if you're open po to these uh, recommendations, um, may ev- evidence based naman po kasi siya. So for for the for the um, holistic health of our children and us adults na rin, um, mm-hmm. we can practice po yung yung mga na mention natin kanina. Okay, so um, doctora related na din po dun ba yung ano yung isang question from Uh, yung screen protector po ba ng cellphone ay nakakabawas ng blue light from Carla Galliero Sambahon. Ano na din po yun, ano? Para yun na rin po yung kanina na myth. Yes. Okay. And then, um, I think related din po doon yung does blue light, na-discuss na rin po ito, does blue light increase the child's risk of macular degeneration? Yes. Um, nasabi na rin po yun, ano? Okay. Um, kasali po ba yung TV na i-turn off two hours prior to sleeping time para good sleep? Um, actually, yes po. Opo, kasama po siya. Uh, kasi syempre, if you're, if the kids po that we're still watching TV, syempre, di po matutulog talaga yung mga batang yan. Yeah, yeah. Pero, so, yes. as, as I've mentioned po, no, with with my, the parents of my patients po, it's better pa din po yung TV kasi malayo siya kesa yung oh. malayo siya. Yes. Okay. Better pa rin yung TV kasi mas malayo. Kapag ka laptop o kaya tablet or phone, mas malapit, yes, no? Po. Kasi so, yung, yung, opo, oh, may, opo, may effect po kasi siya, especially if the child is nearsighted or myopic. So kung okay. parati siya nakatingin sa malapit, may tendency po na lalong tataas yung grado niya. Oh, okay. totoo okay. po so, yun. Kasali po yung TV. No. Okay, hmm. totoo pala. So mas okay, okay. palang wala ng TV. Hindi, hindi ko sinabi yun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, meron po isa dito. Um, I can feel that my eyes are dry due to overexposure to laptops. Can I buy eye drops over the counter or I, do I still need a doctor for a prescription? If ever I can go straight to drugstore, can you give us the right brand for eyes dryness? <laughs> oh, private message na lang po siguro yun. <laughs> Yan. <laughs> so, um, pat- Doc? Apo, artificial tears po are over the counter naman po. Pero pwede rin po may prescription. So there are many brand, brands in the market. You could ask na lang po your your friendly local eye doctor kung ano pong preferred brand. So marami po sa market. Apo, pwede naman po sila bilhin ng walang reseta po. Okay. Pero, pero there's there's really no one brand na maganda po eh. Baka magalit sa atin. Oo, baka bigyan mo wala tayo dito sa Zoom. Okay. Tsaka <laughs> wala naman po kasi yung study na kinumpare lahat po ng artificial tears eh. So we really cannot say na may isang brand uh, na nakakalamang sa ibang brands po. So lahat naman po sila ay effective. Napansin lang po namin, 
kung hindi po sila effective ay dahil po sa maling paggamit. So either hindi po pinapata, very very infrequent yung pag-apply or madala or nasa bag parati. <laughs> hindi naman ah, ginagamit. Tapos nasa bag lang. Ah, o okay, kayo. Oh. Yes. So, ka- ka- katulad po nung binigit ni Dr. Dulce. No? So, so, so blue light and our laptops and our smartphones, hindi po sila ang kalaban. Ang kalaban po yung maling paggamit, you know, overuse, bago matulog, nakababad pa sa Netflix. So, yun po. Yun. So, gaya po ng eye drops, yung maling paggamit po yung yung nakakasama. So, hindi naman in itself, no, it's harmful. It's how we use them inappropriately or incorrectly. Okay. So, last question. Um, my five-year-old oh. child is fond of using phone gadgets, especially when he is oh. with his dad. And I am at work. Right now, he often blinks his eyes than usual and sometimes put the phone closer to his eyes. Mm. Is this an indication for us to send him to an opta and let his eyes be evaluated? Uh, I think po, it's it's a good idea po to have his eyes checked para lang po we can see if may refractive error po ba yung bata mm. or it's just dry eyes. Mm. So we can uh-huh. advise din po what to do no para mm. Uh, if wala naman po tado, what to do uh, to lessen the, the effects of uh, dry eyes and screen time na. Diba, Mateo? <laughs> I agree po with Mateo. Dr. Dulce. <laughs> I agree po with Dr. Dulce. In general po, dapat po talaga may at least yearly vision screening ang mga bata. Kung tayo nga pong adults, no, we have pre-employment checkups, we we, we we have our eyes check, our grades check at least once a year, lalo na po yung mga bata. So I um I enjoin all parents po to have the vision of their kids screened no check um especially kung ngayong this pandemic po so hesitant lalo na po kung may nararamdaman maganda hong ipa-check kaysa ipagpaliban po no Tama tama Doc isa na lang okay. actually sabi ko last question na yun eh pero nakita ko din kasi question ko pwede ko bang itanong na lang last na isa na lang Doc Sige, yung screen light ba nakaka-affect din ba ng radiation yon Kasi uso yun, di ba? Yung mga nag-online classes, may return sila. Ring light. Ah, yung ring light po sa cellphone, hindi naman po. Hindi nga lang po, nakakadagdag po siya ng glare. So it's just, di ba po, it's just an attachment to the phone or to the laptop para mas maganda uh-huh. po yung, yung illumination ng mukha, walang shadows, no? So pwede pala um, akong bumili nun kasi ano, ha, ah, hindi, nakakadagdag lang pala ng glare. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Kasi uh-huh. question din yung dito, tapos realize ko, question to din pala yun. Uso yun marami- sa mga vlogger po eh. <laughs> uh, Oo, oh, yun nga eh. Doc, maraming salamat, Doktora Dulce uh-huh. and Doktora Christine. Uh, we do not, sorry, wala na tayong time. Uh, marami pang questions. Pero um, if ever yung mga iba siguro will just ask them to you privately and then post na lang yung answers ninyo. Uh, so on behalf of YTC, uh, maraming marami pong salamat Dr. Dulce and the Dr. Christine for the time. Um, napakadami po namin na And we with you um Ma- makatulong yung mga na-share ninyong dalawa ngayong gabi uh, for everyone as we try to transition and adjust to this new normal and to ensure that we continuity. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Sorry, there's no more time and we hope to see you again. Salamat po and Ina. Thank you for having us po. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mateo. Good night, everybody. Maraming maraming salamat po. See you on September 19. Bye!